How are you guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. I'm hoping this is going to be the start of a new series where it's going to be like top 5s, top 10s, like various different things. And for this video guys, I've decided to do my top 5 favourite WWE superstars that are currently in the WWE at the moment. So we're not counting legends or people on NXT. This is people that are wrestling constantly on Raw, SmackDown and pay-per-views. I might do a separate one for legends and I might do a separate one for divas. So there's no divas on the list. It's only, you know, male superstars. So I might do a separate one for Legends and, and uh, Divas. Okay guys, so let's get on with the top five. I've got a bit of a spoiler alert for you guys. You won't see John Cena in this list, because, well, can't bloody stand John Cena. And But yeah, but it was quite difficult to choose uh, the fifth place. You know, I think the top three and four were easy, but it was that fifth place. I wasn't really sure who to put in. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's get on with it, guys. In fifth place, I've decided to put Stardust, aka Cody Rhodes. Now, for me, guys, I've always been an absolute, you know, huge fan of Cody Rhodes. Whether it be when he was in the Legacy, whether it be dashing Cody Rhodes, the masked Cody Rhodes when he got like a, a broken nose, and of course Stardust. I think Stardust could be his best, you know, persona or best character gimmick. Stardust is like a really bloody like crazy gimmick. It's kind of like you know the Joker. Uh, kind of reminds me of Joker, over the top crazy, really, really good promos, really entertaining uh, on the mic, in my opinion, is uh, Stardust. And I don't think anybody could play the character Stardust as good as Cody Rhodes, you know, I just think it's just absolutely fantastic. Like I say, a big fan of his promos, big fan of him on the mic, and in the ring as well, I think he's really, really entertaining. You know, I would like to see him get like a, you know, minor championship, you know, like, you know, the Intercontinental Championship or the United States Championship. You know, I think that would be really good for, you know, the character of Stardust, you know, to have a, a minor title. Maybe not a world title, but to be honest, I wouldn't complain, but I just don't think it would be, I don't think it would be that credible, you know, as a, as a world as a world champion. But obviously, guys, I wouldn't complain, and I do think it would benefit the, the character of Stardust to give him a minor championship, because he's only had the tag team titles as Stardust when he was uh, teamed up with Goldust. So, yeah, I would like to see him get a minor title. So uh, yeah guys, in 5th place is Stardust aka Cody Rhodes. In 4th place I am going with Seth Rollins. Uh, there's been times, I'm not going to lie, there's been times where I've really really hated Seth Rollins. You know, all he, there was a time where all he ever did was get Kane to get involved, get j, &J security to get involved. He would constantly just to get disqualified and stuff, lose matches. And to be honest because it was affecting his character, I don't think he'd needs to be like a covered with heel, you know, he is just absolutely fantastic in the ring. Uh, you know, he's probably one of the best guys in the ring, you know, as far as like moves and that go, he's so entertaining. He can even make matches with John Cena look good, you know, I mean, Cena doesn't usually put on good matches, but uh, the one with Cena and Seth Rollins is actually a really, really good match. And that is just because Seth, in my opinion, is just so good in the ring. He's great on the mic, in my opinion, he always has that funny laugh. <laughs> you know, he's, he's got a really bloody funny laugh. Again, really adds to his heel character, but I just kind of wish WWE would make him more like, you know, a heel that's basically not afraid to get involved, you know? Instead of that cowardly heel that tries to get everybody to fight his battles and stuff and gets disqualified to retain his title and stuff. And uh, yeah, I really do wish he would get away from that. I'd say he is getting a bit more away from that now that he's not really, obviously he's not got Kane on his side or J&J security, so maybe he'll start to get better. And there's rumour about him maybe turning face, you know, turning into a good guy. Uh, which, I'd, it'd be interesting to see. I don't know how well it would work. You know, if he did turn face, I'd quite like to see the return of the shield. But, um, you know, I can hope. <laughs> and also, I was really disappointed when the WWE banned his curb stomp. In my opinion, that was just one of the best, you know, finishers in the WWE at the moment. And they banned it. So, um, that was a bum pain in the arse. He's using a pedigree, which I just don't think works too well. Uh, I would rather W brought back the curb stomp. Curb stomp was bloody fantastic. Again, really added to his character. Uh, but yeah, W you decided to ban it for some reason. But anyway guys, yeah, I am choosing Seth Rollins for fourth place. In third place, I'm going for Randy Orton. Now, once upon a time, he was actually my favourite you know, WWE superstar. You know, about maybe two or three years ago, he was my favourite WWE superstar. And uh, like I say, I'm still a big fan of him, but he has dropped down to uh, third place. I do prefer Randy Orton as a bad guy. He still is quite good as a good guy, but for me, Randy Orton as a, as a heel, as a bad guy, was just absolutely fantastic. 
You know, he just had those, like, you know, those looks about him that looked just absolutely sinister and evil. You know, the Viper, the Legend Killer. Uh, just a huge fan of Randy Orton, guys. You know, arguably he's not really the best in the ring. Uh, but Randy Orton as a character, I think, is really, really good. Uh, just kind of wish he was better in the ring, but, you know, what, what can you do? Uh, for me, his character alone is enough to make him, you know, one of my favourite WWE superstars in the WWE at the moment. And plus, he's got, like, one of the best finishing moves of all time, of course, the RKO. Out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> it's just absolutely fantastic. Always been a big fan of the RKO. So, um, yeah, guys, Randy Orton is going to be in third place. Now, in second place, guys, I've got to go with Kevin Owens. Holy shit, this guy is absolutely fantastic. For me, guys, Kevin Owens is like the full package. You know, he's great on the mic. Plays a really, really good, you know, heel bad guy. He's got that kind of like arrogance about him and stuff. It's really bloody good. And just surprisingly, for a big guy, he's really bloody good in the ring. I mean, I look at like comments and that online of people always saying, you know, he's too fat to be a WWE superstar. He is better in the ring than like half of the women, you know, the smaller guys, in my opinion. And you just have to look at the matches with John Cena, three of the best matches I've seen in the WWE, you know, in a long time. Not a big fan of John Cena, but those three matches were absolutely fantastic. Obviously, Kevin Owens won the first one and Cena won the next two, because obviously they have to make Cena look body strong, don't they? He always has to get the, the last laugh. But yeah, three of the best matches I've seen in the WWE in a long time. And, you know, they're not like, you know, five minute, ten minute matches. You're talking about 20 to half an hour uh, per match. I mean, it didn't even look like he was, like, tired or anything. So, so the fact that the people are, like, people on the internet and that are calling him fat, in my opinion, is real bloody stupid. They're probably, like, sitting behind their bloody laptops eating donuts and things and calling Kevin Owens fat. It's just bloody stupid, to be honest, guys, you know? I mean, there's even a promo with Randy Orton where Randy Orton said to Kevin Owens, uh, Kevin, have you put on weight? You know, and WWE are supposed to be, you know, against bullying and stuff, and, you know, they're having, like, promos like that. Which is quite funny to be honest because uh, in my opinion Kevin Owens is a lot better in the ring than Randy Orton and Randy Orton's criticising Kevin Owens with his weight, I think it's quite bloody funny to be honest. I also like the way Kevin Owens, like, he kind of like mocks people that he's wrestling with because he was doing that with John Cena, you know, obviously mocking John Cena. Uh, cause he's just like an arrogant heel but he's just so bloody fantastic, he plays a really, really good part as the arrogant heel. And uh, in my opinion, guys, easily in my top two. So I'm putting them in second place, guys, as uh, Kevin Owens. So then we come down to my number one. If you watch my pay-per-view predictions, you'll probably know who it is. But it is, of course, the lunatic fringe, Dean Ambrose. I'm just a big fan of the whole, you know, lunatic fringe gimmick. How always, like, movements and, like, moves and that, like, really, really frantic. You know, really, you know, fast-paced. And that his facial expressions are some of the best. He's just, like, the perfect guy, in my opinion, to have, like, a lunatic gimmick. He plays it so bloody well. Uh, you would actually mistake him for a real bloody lunatic. Uh, it's just absolutely fantastic. That thing he does on the ropes, you know, before he does that clothesline thing. Just absolutely fantastic. Look forward to that every time I see him in the ring. His finishing move, Dirty Deeds, as well, I think is quite good. Uh, the only thing I really don't like about Dean Ambrose is his theme. I'd like to see him get, like, a new theme. Uh, for me, it just sounds a bit, you know, a bit generic. I suppose it's kind of like a lunatic kind of theme, but, um, but I would just like to see him get a better theme. You know, I think a good theme would be Frantic by uh, Metallica, but obviously you'd have to pay for like, license and that. But yeah, Frantic, I think, would be a really, really good you know, theme for Dean Ambrose for his uh, bloody Frantic movements. And in my opinion as well, I do still think Dean Ambrose is like the best on the mic at the moment in the WWE. Uh, it's so entertaining to listen to, you know, his promos are absolutely fantastic. Uh, the only thing I'd like to see him be maybe a bit better in the ring, I mean, he's still okay in the ring, he's still quite entertaining. But when you compare him to the likes of like Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins, you know, he's, he's not as entertaining in the ring as them. Uh, but for me guys, the whole lunatic fringe gimmick as a whole uh, makes him my favourite WWE superstar in the WWE at the moment. So uh, anyway guys, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this top 5. I'll try and add some pictures and that of uh, the superstar doing uh, funny faces probably. But anyway guys, I do hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you watch WWE, let me know who are your favourite WWE superstars. If you've got a top five, or maybe you've only got like a top two or something, yeah, just let me know. And uh, yeah guys, thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you all in the next video. See you guys, thanks for watching.